What's poppin' Funko fans? I'm Robbie Dilts, and this is a brand new episode of Funko Pop Weekly. Today, I will be showing off my top 10 favorite pops that I own. So, let's get started. Alright, so we're outside for this episode today. Uh, it's a little noisy in my living room because my aunt is in there and she's watching a show and she also has the scanner on listening to fire calls uh, that are happening in my city, so that's okay. It's nice out here anyways today and it was definitely hard for me to choose 10 of my favorite pops that I own out of the 42 that I do own, so yeah, it was difficult for sure, but... Um, let me just dig through the bag that I have all my pops in because I brought them outside obviously and I didn't want to wreck any of them. Um, you know what, I think I found my number 10 pop and I'll show that off first. It is number 803 in the Stranger Th or Pop Television line I should say, from the uh, recent wave of Stranger Things 3 pops and that is Steve holding the ice cream cone there, that's pretty cool. His Scoops Ahoy attire on, and uh, really great pop. And I managed to find this at the EB Games, where I live here, and uh, on the back, you can see all the characters that are in the wave. So we got Hopper, um, Eleven, Steve, Dustin, Will the Wise, Max, Lucas, Erica, and Battle Eleven, I believe that is. Yep, that would be correct. So, Steve is my number 10 in my top 10. Great pop, for sure. Definitely a hard decision. Um, but out of the other pops that I do have, I feel like Steve would be a good start and would be number 10 in my list. So, there you have it, number 10. Alright, so number 9 in my top 10 Funko Pops that I own, and you can kind of see the side of the box already, it's number 154 in the Pop Animation line, and that is the Red Chrome Super Saiyan Vegeta, and all my other Pops are kind of falling over in the bag, but I saved them, so anyways... Super Saiyan Vegeta, Red Chrome, nice pop. You can see the pose that it's doing with its hands like pushed out, kind of, you know. Really great pop. I love it. It's from the San Diego Comic Con 2019 this year. So, again, you can see the 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusive sticker there. And uh, I showed this off in my last video. Really love this pop, but. I had to put it as number 9 because I think all the other pops that come ahead of it um, definitely deserve higher spots than what this one is. Even though, you know, I do like chrome pops, this one just has to be number 9 just for the sake of all the other pops that I have in my top 10. So I will get right into my number 8 in just a second. Alright, number 8 in my collection, and you kind of just saw the box there off to the side. Uh, this is the first ever New Japan Pro Wrestling Pop that they made, and that is Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is such a great wrestler for so many different reasons. He has a great style of wrestling, and uh, great pop for sure. I'm glad I picked this one up when I did, and there you can see the side art there. And on the back, Kenny Omega and the American Nightmare Cody. And uh, I mentioned to somebody last night on Instagram, I was messaging them, and I was saying that I would add some wrestling pops to the top ten. And uh, this is just the first one. I do have a couple other ones that I'm going to be showing off. So, yeah, I definitely think Kenny Omega is uh, a great piece of my collection. And definitely deserves to be in my top 10 and uh, 
such a great pop. And again, I'm still trying to figure out where on the box it says that it was like when it was made. Um, not where, but when. Um, but I seen, I don't know, I watch Top Hop's videos and he always looks at the bottom of the box and manages to find it right away. Um, I don't know. If I'm missing something, can you let me know where it is that it normally says on the bottom of the box? Um, when it was made, post in the comments below. This was made recently, but not too recent enough. Um, but yeah, Kenny Omega, great pop. And that is my number eight. All right, for number seven in my top 10 Funko Pops that I own, this one I just picked up recently from EB Games. Um, I showed it off, and you probably just seen this out of the box there. Uh, but in one of my videos, actually no, I think I just strictly posted it to Instagram. But it's number 60 in the Pop WWE line, and it is the Viper Randy Orton. Such a great pop. I love the detail with the sweater and uh, the pose and the tattoos. This is a really great pop, just like all the other pops in my collection and even my top 10. And on the back, you can see the translucent John Cena because, the, you know, the You Can't See Me, uh, Randy Orton. I believe that is Batista, uh, Charlotte Flair, and Ric Flair, and uh, also on WWEshop.com you can get the two-pack gold Charlotte and Ric Flair, um, so that's pretty cool. I might see if I can order that, but uh, Randy Orton, really great superstar, one of my top five favorites of all time, and... I just had to get Randy Orton, to be honest. I mean, I don't have Triple H or Batista yet. I would really like to. Um, I think the last time I went, uh, one or both of the boxes had some damage. But, I mean, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens when I go back to EB Games next. But Randy Orton, number seven. And I think the number six pop that I own in my top ten will be pretty phenomenal if you catch my drift so stay tuned all right so number six in my top 10 favorite pops that i own is number 37 in the pop wwe line and that is the phenomenal aj styles now my buddy dylan from a funko popcast picked this one up for me and uh this is a really really awesome pop i absolutely love aj styles and on the back of the box, you can see Finn Balor, who I have. Mick Foley, who I also have. That would be Goldberg, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I do not have Goldberg, but I do have... This is AJ Styles, obviously, as you can see. So, I told you it was going to be a phenomenal pop. And I did not miss that opportunity to have AJ Styles in my collection. So, there is number six. Now, obviously, the rest that come before it were definitely hard to pick because, obviously, top five. Uh, I should have probably just done a top five, but that would have been even harder. And it's still pretty difficult for me to decide. But I just had to add AJ Styles into this top ten video. And I don't know. I, I have a bunch of WWE Pops. And I have a bunch of Stranger Things pops. Um, so if you would like to see me do more content like this of top 10s or even top 5s, um, just let me know. Give this video a like. Even comment uh, what top 10 or even top 5 video I should do next. Whether I should do Toy Story, whether I should do Stranger Things, WWE. Just let me know. But AJ Styles definitely has to be in my top 10 figures. Alrighty, now to get started with the top five out of the top ten that I have. This one was a bit difficult for me to decide, um, but it was pretty easy to choose where it would stand in the top half of the top ten. And I'm sorry, I have bugs flying all around me, so you'll see me scratching my ears a lot. And it's really annoying, but I'm still going to do the video outside. 
Moving on to, and you can see it already, number 522 in the Toy Story 4 line of pops, and that is Sheriff Woody, and really great detail. They have the cowboy hat on him, and uh, does he have a lasso? Yeah, he does have a lasso. Pretty cool. Um, what you would expect, obviously, with the sheriff, and the sheriff of Toy Story, Sheriff Woody. Really great, amazing pop. And uh, on the back here, you can see all the characters. They have Sheriff Woody, they have Buzz Lightyear, so these two I have. Bo Peep with Officer Giggle McDimples, actually have all three of these pops. Um, second line here we have um, the alien, we have Jesse, so these two I don't have. I have Gabby Gabby, Forky I don't have. Uh, here is Duke Kaboom, which I don't have. Combat Carl Jr. I don't have. Ducky, I wish I have, or I wish I had, sorry, and Bunny, which I do have in my collection, um, but yeah, I had to put Woody at number five, it was really hard, but I think the four pops that come before it are deserving of those spots, so Sheriff Woody has to be number five in my top ten for today. Um, would I put it, you know, maybe lower? Like, you know, four, three, two, or even the top pop in my collection. Maybe uh, at some point. I would say probably um, the top Toy Story 4 pop that I have. Um, but it wouldn't be the top pop that I have. So, has to be number five in this top ten video. Alright guys, number 4 in my top 10. I'm going to continue the trend with Toy Story, but I will stick with the original Toy Story Wave of Pops. And it is number 562. It is the 2019 Summer Convention Limited Exclusive Mr. Prickle Pants. That was a shared exclusive with Hot Topic. And of course, my buddy Dylan picked this one up for me from Hot Topic on Thursday uh, last week when they all started to go on sale. Well, not on sale, but they started selling these. And um, on the back, we have the original Woody and Buzz along with Ham. We have Rex, Slinky Dog, Bo Peep, Mrs. Nesbitt, uh, Wheezy, and Bullseye. From this collection, I only have, uh, besides Mr. Kirk Plants, obviously now, uh, I only have Bo Peep. So, yeah. Great pop. Really awesome looking figure for sure and they got everything pretty much right with it and I'm glad that they came out with Mr. Prickle Pants. Alright guys, now for my final three, or my top three. This one's a difficult one and it was hard for me to pick what order I wanted to uh, show these pops off in but I think for my number three pop I have to go with number 19 in the Pop MLB line, and that is the one that I just recently showed off in my last video, and that is the Blue Jays mascot, mascot sorry, and uh, yes, I will strictly call him Ace, just because that's who the Blue Jays mascot is right now, it's called Ace, and uh, I think it's just basically a trademark thing, that's why they just stick with uh, calling it the Blue Jays mascot instead of Ace, but, or something along those lines I don't really know but again on the back you can see all the names of the uh, MLB mascots I won't read them off because I already did that in my last video where I showed off the San Diego comic-con pickup as well as this Blue Jays mascot and it has to be in my number three spot because I don't know the, the two pops that will come uh, in second and first I think just, you know, top the cake. I think it's just... Ace has to be in my top three for sure. I really love the Blue Jays, um, despite, you know, their rebuilding that they're going through. But they're a really great team. This is a really great uh, pop for sure. <laughs> and uh, really great detail to this pop so I really love it and I'm glad that I found it at my EB games and has to be my number three spot but get excited for my top two 
All right, so for my number two spot, it was pretty difficult to decide whether I want this in my number two spot or my number one, but this is number 353 in the Pop Games line, and the first ever Pokemon Pop that came out with the Target exclusive Pikachu, and I really love the detail with the red cheeks and the eyes and the mouth, and you can kind of see like the tongue and everything. This is a really great Pop, really amazing. My buddy Dylan picked this one up for me. He uh, actually ordered it from Target, obviously, and had it delivered to him, and he gave it to me for my birthday, which is really nice, because he knows I love Pokemon, he knows that I love Pikachu, um, I wish they made a Gengar Pop, I keep commenting on Funko's, uh, videos and stuff like that, they just actually had a Pokemon unboxing video, where, obviously, they showed off Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, um, this is the only Pokemon Pop that I have. I do want to get my hands on Bulbasaur and Charmander, and definitely Squirtle when he comes out. But, yeah, like I said, it was hard to pick my top two out of, obviously, the top ten. And, uh, Pikachu just had to be in there. Um, yeah. Also, there is a chance for you to get a Charmander, and that is by going to follow Fun Canada on Instagram. That is F-U-N-K-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. I will actually put the Instagram handle in the description below. Um, he is doing a giveaway at 250 followers, and the pop that he's giving away is a Charmander pop, so that would be great to add to my collection, hopefully if I win. Um, I'm not saying, obviously, that I have a high chance of winning, but obviously it's random chance, so please go give him a follow. He's a really great... Instagram uh, member, obviously. He's a great pop community member, Funko community member. Um, it's great to talk to. Um, he also is a wrestling fan, so him and I talk here and there about wrestling stuff as well. So, again, if I was going to give someone a shout out or a mention on today's video, and if I was going to mention something about a giveaway, uh, that would be the time and the place to do so because obviously, like I said, I was talking about my Pikachu Pop. He's giving away a Charmander Pop at 250 followers. So, from one Funko community member to another, there you go. And now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Number one in my top ten Funko Pops that I own. It is number 84 in the Harry Potter line. And it is the 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusive Flocked Fox. And they did a really great detail. You can see the flames down here at the bottom. Uh, there's a little bit of the side. You can kind of see. Um, but yes, I really love this pop. And again, Dylan picked this one up for me at Hot Topic. And uh, they did really great detail. I love like the head even looks pretty pretty great I gotta say I love how like the back of the box you see fox with the flames and the top of the box has you know fox's head and everything and it, it's a really amazing pop I just like I can't get over how amazing this pop is to be honest and it's my first ever flock uh, pop vinyl figure and I was trying to get the flock headwig but I was too late on that uh, they ran out of stock at the EB games so to talk about this pop, like I said, Dylan picked this one up for me, so thank you again. Um, just like, the, you know, some of the other pops that I have. On the back, we have Ron Weasley, Sirius Black as the dog form. Um, I believe that is also a flocked pop, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe Dylan said it was in one of his videos that he was doing. Um, I can't remember, though. But then we have Bloody Baron, Dobby... The flocked Hedwig, which is for sure flocked because I know I've seen it at the EB Games. Hermione Granger as cat form. Uh, Rubius Hagrid, I believe that is the 6 inch because the last time I mentioned it, I did not say how tall it was. But yeah, it is the 6 inch Hagrid and also we have Harry Potter in his nighttime attire. Or his bedtime attire. I don't know what you really want to call it. He's just wearing, you know, his uh, night shirt and pants pajamas sure we'll just call it pajamas harry potter and pajamas here you go um but yes flock box definitely my top favorite pop that i own and uh you can see as i'm looking on my screen here 
but like my camera is here as I'm pointing so it's like I'm watching myself as I talk but again there you see kind of my oh, top 10 pops there and I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that. But this has been another episode of Funko Pop Weekly. Until next time, guys, keep on popping. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram at OriginalFunkoFan. Thanks, guys, and see you next week.